Hello, everybody, and welcome to another lesson of physical education brought straight into your home. Today, we are working on another yoga lesson, and today's yoga lesson involves yoga with a partner. So for every activity we do today, you will need a partner to do the activity with you. The reason we do yoga is because it increases your muscular endurance and your muscular strength, making you stronger. It increases your flexibility and your balance skills. And hopefully it makes you a more calmer, more relaxed, more stress-free stress and less anxious person. Uh, because in many ways it just sort of slows down your life and lets you relax. We're still using these cards called yoga pretzels which sort of walk us through how to do these yoga activities because I'm pretty new at these yoga activities. I kind of think you might be new at these yoga activities and it really breaks them down and makes them easy to understand and easy to learn. Before we start, you need to make sure that you have a really safe space where nothing will hurt you, you won't hurt anything else, and you might also want some sort of object to soften the ground. I have a yoga mat behind me. You could use a carpet or a rug, something that won't slip and will make the ground a little bit softer. I have a partner and my partner is my wife, Ronnie. Just poke your head in, Ronnie. Hi. The first card we're gonna do is called Open Heart. And it has this picture, this beautiful picture of two people who are front to back and the card says risk open and trust. I trust my partner and we're gonna try this card and get better at yoga. We're gonna go back to our spot. Together we are willing to take a risk. Stand behind your partner. So can you turn around? And we're standing front to back. I hold firmly so you can lean away. Okay. Hold your partner's wrists. Okay. So I've got Ronnie's wrists. We work in trust. Let your partner arch and lean forward. Trust me. We open our hearts. Hold your partner as she stretches fully forward. Gotcha. <laughs> you feel the stretch? Totally. You feel the trust growing? Yeah, I do. When you are the holder, stand with one foot back, one forward, and knees slightly bent. That information would have been useful earlier. <laughs> so I want to have one leg forward, one leg back. Okay. When you are the leaner, bend your elbows slightly and squeeze them together to open your shoulders and oh. chest. Oh, that feels good. You got me? Yeah. And come on back. Oh, that, yeah, that was great. Can we switch it? Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to stand front to back. You want to have one foot forward, one foot back. One foot forward, one foot back. I have your wrist. Both hands back. Okay. 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 I'm going to um, lean, lean forward. Right, you lean forward. Okay. And I'm going to. Move open your, my heart. Open your heart. Move your shoulders back. And my elbows together. Elbows together. Does that feel good? It does. Yeah, it does, right? And just sort of soak it all in. Hmm. Sort of like I'm skiing down a mountain and I hit a jump in the Olympics. This card is called Open Heart. My heart has been opened. This next card is called Back to Back Chair. And there's a picture of these two people who are back to back. And the words are determination, strength, and resistance. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to sit back to back. Okay. Sit back to back on the floor. Okay. Okay, so we're back to back on the floor. 
we become one chair. Bend your knees, okay. feet flat, feet flat, and hook your elbows. Okay. okay. We press our backs together and rise. So we're gonna push our backs together and rise up. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Count up three. Okay. Okay. Three. Okay. Two. One. One. Go. <laughs> Okay, that's all right. Okay. We didn't do it that time, but we might be able to do it. Okay. So okay. what is what is the issue on your end? <laughs> I felt like we were gonna do it. I felt like we were gonna do it. I'm not sure why we stopped. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were out of trouble. No, okay. I mean it was, but okay. I think so we could do it. Communication is really important. That's true. So it says don't round your back. Don't round your back. With a tall spine, press into your partner's back Pressure. as if it is a wall. Okay. 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 Ready? Three, two. two. One, go. We did it! Ah, yes! What were we supposed to do? I don't know. We support each other. Press up to standing. Let's try one more time. Okay, press up to standing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The okay. wall thing was helpful. You're my wall. Yeah, you're my wall. Okay, okay we hook our elbows. Okay. We have our feet flat on the ground. Okay. We press our backs together and rise. Okay. Okay. Three, three, two, two one. one. Go. Oh, okay. Ooh, really get a quad work out there. Yep. Okay. okay. Breathe and work together to balance your strength and resistance. That's and great. We did that. Yeah. That was our back to back chair. Yeah. That was about trust, too. Yeah. And our third activity, oh, ooh, 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 looks tricky, is called elevator. An elevator says trust. Focus and flow. Trust, focus, and flow. And we're gonna go back to our safe space. Back over here. Okay. Okay. We're gonna face each other. Our grip is strong. Face your partner. Hold your partner by both wrists. Okay. So you know, I hold your wrist. Okay. I hold your wrist. Is there, okay, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, we got both of So my wrists, my hands are below hers and her hands are above mine. Okay. We got wrists. We got wrists. Okay. We lean away. Lean away so that you are holding each other up. Okay. So we're both going to lean away. So okay. we're leaning back and we're holding each other up. Okay. And this is where we might adjust our feet. We might feel a little bit closer. So our feet are pretty close. And we're both leaning away, trusting each other. This is great right here. Yeah. But we're not done yet. Huh? The third one, third, third step says we focus going down. Okay. Leaning away, bend your knees until squatting. And then it says we flow going up. Okay. Leaning away, straighten the legs to standing. So we're gonna go to our squat. Uh -huh. So okay. you're, still, you're still pulling. Okay. You're pulling? Yeah. And we're gonna squat. squat. <laughs> we're gonna go back up. And we're supposed to okay. keep leaning, right? Yeah, because I, I feel a lack of pull. Are you really? Okay, 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 okay. 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 So we're going to squat. Squat. <laughs> there we go. And then we go back up to standing. That was better. That was better. Okay. Okay, squat again. Squat. And we go back up to standing. Pull. Okay. And again, squat. Squat. And go back up to standing. One more. Okay. And squat. Hey, you look like up to standing. Okay, that was, that was great. Thanks. Yeah, you too. And this card was called Elevator. It says, feel the difference between holding yourself up and leaning away so that your partner is holding you up. That's balance. We, we, we found, we got that. We did. We, we didn't totally even did. know this step. This card was called Elevator because you go up and you go down just like an alligator. An elevator, not an alligator. What am I talking about? I hope that you enjoyed these yoga activities as much as Ronnie and I did. I hope you're a bit more relaxed and you've lost a little bit of anxiety that maybe you have in your life. I know that I feel great right now and I'm excited to maybe even try these again because they were so exciting and so fun. If you love them, run it back, try it again with your partner. 
I hope you're staying safe. I hope we get to see each other real soon. Take care. Bye.